in a hot mess he told he wanted to see her in a hot dress Come on, always a flow and his mind is focused on other things how when is it the time to initiate got a very big ego and a pack of all the what you want but i won't be on my check she was thinking about the future in a long term right hey because he's never been a long term guy hey i don't think that i'll just take the wrong turn i'm stuck this day is a slow burn i just don't learn tell me how the scenario doesn't come with a state plans need a little back she just want to chat more about her dreams ambitions on a deep one Slow burn, I just don't learn. Now I don't know why I sweat it, and I don't know what to do. Now I got to spend my evenings talking to you. My intuitions I know we want to feel Every part of what we got I'm chasing what is real I promise I won't Stay consistent. 
What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith as usual. The game has all the elements really to excite us and I'm sure it will live up to the billing. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, thanks Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes how these teams approach the task. Away we we go with uh, Brazil getting us underway let's check now on Brazil's team 4-3-3 and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside support the center forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball so an onus on them saved by the keeper he can't hang on to the ball well they didn't test the keeper the second time like they did the first but either way he's done his job and threads it through keeper's ball Neymar does seem to lurk on the left-hand side, doesn't he? He gets his goals from different positions as well, but seemed to be quite happy to, to have that as his starting base. Yeah, definitely. And Pass threaded through. In on the goalkeeper. Well hand on to it, the keeper. Acuna Now Rosbeto Dorado Santero Going wide to get some space Neymar here A Wonderful piece of defending From this fella De Pau Paredes Cunha. Dybala. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Maybe the cross. Oh, it's too strong, the cross. It's gone over everyone in the middle. And it's a shot now! Good save by the keeper. The keeper's given the ball away. kind of shots to deal with that's a great interception good width in the attack here looking for a cross at the end of it This could be a problem for the opposition. Dybala's coming at them at pace. Aguero looking for the cross. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. Now, Rosbeto Dorado. It's Messi. Acuna. He can cross it now, and the goalkeeper can take charge now. Santero. Now Rosbeto Dorado, giving it away under no pressure at all. Paredes. Now, can he take them on? Can go in from here. That cross aimed deep for Lionel Messi, far post. That was catching practice for the goalkeeper. Fourth official has indicated. Only one added minute. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? 
We're at half time then, the referee's whistle goes and it's nil-nil at the break in this international friendly fixture. Yeah, a bit of a, a tactical chess match out there. I think they might free themselves up in the second half. Argentina get the ball rolling for the second half. Cuts it out nicely. Intercepted here. What about Neymar in the first half, Alan? Room for improvement, I think you could say, from this lad. Maybe took his eye off the ball. Parades. Aguero. It's a very good interception. Maybe he'll cross it here. Well, they kept up the pressure, didn't they? But it's finally been stopped now. Sergio Aguero, stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Read the play well to intercept. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. It's Messi. Dybala. Patient play as they try to get the goal that will put them in front. Rosberto Dorado. Oh, he could be in. Now there is some space in the wide area. It's a deep cross towards the back post. La Santero. Neymar. Can whip it in now. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. Neatly intercepted. It's messy. Chance for a break in numbers. Now the possibility for a cross. Parades. Messi. Great interception. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. Strong, fair challenge. Ball's out for a throw, though. It's going to be a change here for Argentina. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Shot on! Oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Everton, Andra. Intercepted well. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Oh, what a noise they're making. Not long left. Begging their team to get a goal. Neymar! Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Well, it could be a win here for Brazil if they can make the most of these closing moments of the game. Well, the 90 minutes have been played plus the added time and we're still level
Well, we're ready to go for the first half of extra time. Caterino. Everton Andra. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Now, Rosbeto Dorado. Has to score here. A goal at last. The first goal of the game. And we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the team that have looked the most likely that have done it. Maybe they will use this as a platform to go on to win now. They will expect the opposition to come back at them. They'll have to. Well, it's a sensible move here, I think. They're going to maybe just sit back on their laurels, dig in for victory, putting on another defender. Well, they are. Uh, the only danger is if you're inviting pressure, you sink too deep. But uh, you can understand the move. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. I do think they've got to find another gear or two. It has been too slow. They've been hesitant. Certainly haven't created enough chances. Anywhere near enough. Squandering possession cheaply, really, with that pass. Nicholas Otamendi. Herman Petzela. Acuna. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Guiding it through. Wanting that extra yard to get his shot away. Corner given to Argentina. Alan, the game is nothing without the supporters, and they are in great mood today. I think keeper goes for the punch from the corner. Could get the ball into the box now. I think the opposition looked as though they believed they'd get through that. And that's uh, the end of the first half of extra time. They've got their energies, what's left of them, back together again. And here we go with 15 minutes left. Now there is some space in the wide area. Only the equaliser here. He's done well to keep that out. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Messi can't get the shot through. Good block. And the goalkeeper can take charge now. Here's Everton and Drow. Cuts it out nicely. Well, this crowd, they see their team in a dominant position, but really, the way that they've been playing last five minutes and that chance they got away with could have easily been level. Well, they're doing well here in the... Aguero, out in front of goal. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're encouraged by the lead, but they're fearful, perhaps, that this team might lose it. Well, they won't want to give anything silly away. The opposition are chasing the ball, trying to get it back and trying to get back into this match. Cross aimed at Aguero. And that's dealt with the problem. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Trying to find an opening on this counter-attack. A minute to go of added time. Looks so promising at the beginning, but came to... And we needed extra time here. It's over now. Ready now to go into competitive action again, you would feel, having won this friendly. Yeah, they look just about ready to me. They look fit. They've settled into a system that they look comfortable with. Away we go, with uh, Brazil getting us underway.
What a perfect day for football we've got here. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. The game has all the elements really to excite us and I'm sure it will live up to the billing. It's Bayern Munich against Barcelona. Yeah, thanks Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there and importantly we've got some match winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. And I don't think we'll be disappointed. It's impossible to not... to associate Barcelona with Leo Messi who's given so much to this uh, fantastic team and I've been watching football a long long time and the kind of talent that he has been on display and Barcelona have benefited from is truly truly exceptional well quite I mean he's at the head of the queue and an illustrious queue when you think of Xavi, Iniesta, Guardiola, Piquet treading it through Suarez did well to reach it but he couldn't keep it plenty of power but not too much direction the pole with the goal touch Robert Lewandowski yeah, he's uh, answered the call as he's gone through his career never disappointed kept his feet firmly on the ground Lionel Messi gets all his own glory as well but he's a very good team player and Certainly, with Barcelona, has enjoyed a wonderful relationship with Neymar and Suarez in recent times. Yeah, and I think they're confident enough to take it on the volley. Yeah, it is one of the hardest techniques going. Goretzka. It's Kimmich. Lewandowski. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Jordi Alba, well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. The pass threaded through. It's good defending at the end of what was a really promising break. Out wide to Leo Messi. Must take the lead here. Sergio Busquets with the interception. Room for the cross. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Far too close across to the keeper. Villa. Lewandowski. Excellent attacking play here. It could open up the opposition now. Trying to pick out Lewandowski. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. That's PK with the interception. Muller. Goretzka. I'll never be afraid to shoot, but he'll be hoping for better efforts than that. <laughs> Joshua Kimmich slipping it through. Lewandowski. He has cleared it well. Yeah, look at that, virtually even Stevens. It's very difficult to separate these two sides, both full possession and chances created for quality. Really tight. Are we going to get a winner? Here's the yacht. Well, he's got a chance now to get forward in this wide area. Now the possibility for a cross. He's done well to block that. Goretzka. Steered through. Gabriel. 
for Bayern Munich, the opening goal. Yeah, that's a statement of intent in this match. It's been a bit of a slow burner, this uh, match, but I think they deserve this goal and it certainly changes the half-time team talks. Another angle on it here. Showing his frustrations, the manager, I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't and his team are losing now. So it's Bayern Munich in front. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Griezmann given time and space out here. Chance to get the ball in the box. It's not really a way for clearance. Routine for the keeper. Barcelona with well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's one. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle and we're off for the second half. Griezmann. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Well, an incisive pass. And there it is! He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Restarting at 2 0. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Keeper can collect this one. Müller. Ref uh, applying the advantage law for Bayern Munich. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. Sergio Busquets. Looking down at that bench. Barcelona want to make a change now. They're looking good when they attack. Headed through by Lewandowski. Maverick. Muller. And the keeper doing his job. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Lewandowski. Maverick. To Thiago, decisive ball from Lewandowski. Well, the goalkeeper's got there, but only just. Perezka. Joshua Kimmich. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Cuts it out nicely. Signal given for Bayern Munich, it's their throw. And there's going to be some activity from the bench for Barcelona. It's good play to get a foot in and intercept. Spotted that well and intercepted. Down. That's well, well wide. It's going well for the home players and their supporters. 
Uh, the away players finding it hard in the match and the fans now getting very frustrated. They think that there is some jiggery-pokery going on here. Well, it's uh, predictable, I suppose. But maybe even the home fans are a little bit unhappy. They want to see their team go for one or two more goals, but that might be a bit of a reckless thing to do now. Made a quick interception. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Luis Suarez. He could take them on here. Looking for Busquets. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Robert Lewandowski. Berezka. Joshua Kimmich into the attacking third. Lewandowski, top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Well, if it wasn't wrapped up before, Alan, it certainly is now. Yeah, no mercy from this side. I'm thinking about goal difference, I think, now. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. Vidal. Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. Keeper's ball. And there we are, final whistle. Well, at times you thought they got a bit greedy, but why not? I mean, if you're on top of an opponent like they were here today, rub it in. Well, they did. They were ruthless, weren't they? They rubbed their faces into the dirt, and uh, that is the hallmark of the top side. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to... is 
shot. Call it dirt cheap, this American life. The city came through on your confidence. The city came through, but the hitting came through. So Sunday's best. No, I don't take your request. So love me till the day's done. Memory still. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name's Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back. Let me run out there, please. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Clément Longley plays alongside Piquet in the middle of the defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. He's in with a chance. And the goal gaping at him. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. And options in the centre. Really a very poor ball. Happy to take on the shot. Well, it is a plain fact that when Real Madrid get to the Champions League final, they usually lift the trophy league. Well, anything else is a disappointment and failure, you have to say, because they normally get to the latter stages and they'll be looking, as soon as the tournament starts, can we win this trophy? We're expected to win it. They've got a great chance tonight and I expect him to do it. Modric, crossing possibilities. Really the ideal clearance. Moving forward effectively. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Lionel Messi. Griezmann failed to keep hold of it. And he was in the right place to intercept. Confident with the ball at his feet. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. He's got to score! Well, the post getting in the way there. In possession, Marcelo. Benzema. A sloppy pass. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. They've decided to take the corner short. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. There's a slide draw pass. It's taken a while, but the pressure has taken its toll. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Underway, and it's Barcelona holding the advantage. No. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. 
Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's been a decent half for Barcelona. The coach still has some work to do at half-time, though. Ball retention has to improve a little bit if they're going to dominate in the second. Might be able to set up the chance. goalkeeping from Thibaut Courtois that's what he's there for keep the ball out the net brilliant Messi Suarez he made it look simple really the electronic board has been held aloft two additional minutes here it's the vision of Griezmann coming to the fore. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Half time then, and we're sorry for the. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Marcelo, Ramos, Tony Kroos, Vinicius Junior, in possession Marcelo, Benzema, oh, just couldn't keep the ball, Arthur has it, Messi, Barcelona moving the ball swiftly and finding themselves in a promising position. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the shot lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Rafael Varane. Well, that was all down to the pressure applied and a throw forthcoming. Now Busquets. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Into the advanced position. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And now this is Longley. Barcelona have given it away. Frankie de Jong, Sergio Busquets, Messi. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. An important interception. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? They need to get bodies back. The cross is on. It was a fantastic counter-attack, but a damp squib of a finish. Well, yeah, they sucked the opposition onto him, then hit him with speed. All was good until the final effort. Piquet. De Jong. On the ball, Luis Suarez. And it's gone behind for the corner. Substitution for Real Madrid. variation on the usual theme short and well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area can they hit on the break Modric Modric and you need your defender to take charge Suarez with their noses in front. Running towards goal. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! A goal for the Blaugrana! Can they be stopped now? Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. 
really good build up and an easy finish so 2-0 now And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Moving the ball effectively. So Stegen was never under pressure. And the keeper has given it away inexcusably. Benzema. Suarez. Interesting idea from Suarez. Space here for Barcelona. And in with a real chance. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Course. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Sergio Busquets. Suarez. De Jong. Now they've lost it. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Number nine, Luis Suarez. And he was in the right place to intercept. Possession one. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. And the final whistle, the cup issue is...